hi everyone welcome to another tutorial so in today's tutorial i'm going to be doing this midi skirt um i made it using the alpine stitch if you've been on this channel you know i love this stitch i have it in a sweater in a top in a cardigan in shorts basically in everything and I'm going to be putting the links to these uh, pieces in the comment section or in the description box. I'll pin the comment so if you want to check them out, you may just go ahead and do so. So, Purity is wearing a size small. I made this, uh, her hip size is 36 and I'll be showing you how I made it. But you can do it in any other size because all you need is your hips measurements to do this. And I think it's pretty, it's decent and yeah you can wear it with a t-shirt you can wear it with i don't know a very nice top for dinner it's really a, a really good piece to own so these are the measurements you will need uh, for purities 36 minus 2 inches that's 34 and i'll go ahead and buy 34 by 2 to get 17 inches for the tutorial you're going to need a three millimeter hook 3.0 millimeter hook I'm going to use uh, this size 3 yarn, it's medium weight yarn or wasted yarn. You'll need scissors and you need tape measure. Alright, so we are going to start with the waistband. And the waistband we are going to be using slip stitch in the back loop. So we are going to make a foundation chain. So make your slip knot like I did. And I am going to chain 16 chains. So this is going to be a foundation chain for the waistband we'll work with the waistband first and then go ahead and do the bottom part which is the alpine stitch okay so once you have your 16 uh, stitches i'll go ahead and chain one so for row one we are going to leave out the chain that we made going to a second chain from the hook and we are going to be working with slip stitches so you're going to make a slip stitch like that go into your next chain make a slip stitch like that go into the third chain make a slip stitch and this is going to be our pattern for this row you are going to make slip stitches like this until we get to the end of this row okay so it's a slip stitch in every chain until we get to the end all right do that and uh, yeah see you at the end of the first row So I'm done with my 16 slip stitches and I'm now going to row 2. So you'll chain 1, turn your work. So for row 2, we are going to be working only in the back loop of the stitches. So go into that back loop of that very first slip stitch and make a slip stitch. Go into the second stitch only in the back loop. We are working only in the back loop and make a slip stitch. Go into your third stitch only in the back loop. Make your third slip stitch. Go into the next stitch only in the back loop. Make another slip stitch. And basically, this is going to be the pattern. So we are only going to be working in the back loop. So a slip stitch in every stitch, but only in the back loop. Okay, so this is how we're going to make this ribbed um, waistband, which is quite stretchy, by the way. It's quite stretchy and it looks neat. So 
yeah place a slip stitch in every stitch but only in the back loop until you get to the end of this row yeah and i'll meet you there So I'm coming to the end of my second row and you should have the same number of stitches on every row so don't make make sure you're not losing any stitches or adding more stitches so that's my second row now I chain one turn my work now we're working on the third row and in that very first stitch in the back loop we are going to make a slip stitch go into the second stitch make a slip stitch and we are working only in the back loop so it's slip stitches in every stitch only in the back loop for this third row and um, this is going to be the pattern for every row okay for every row this is going to be the pattern we are working only in the back loop with slip stitches and we are going to do this until you have your hips measurements subtract 2 inches mine is 34 i mean 36 minus 2 inches which is 34 and then i get 34 divided by 2 which is 17 inches so i'm going to work this until i have 17 inches okay 17 inches all right so i have my measurements okay this is how it looks like yeah so it is 17 inches long as you can see so that was uh, hips measurements minus two the answer you get divided by two so mine is 17 okay so we are now going to join this together so this is our waistband and we are now going to join it together okay so fold yours into two like i've done with mine insert your hook in one of the loops and on the other side and pull through and we're going to be working with slip stitches even here so i'll be working chain one i'll be working in uh, the inside loop only in one loop so the inside loops is what i'll be working with Uh, that's the back loop and then the front loop on the other side back loop on the front side and the front loop on the behind side like this uh, just look at what i'm doing maybe it's, it's better explained and then we'll make slip stitches so insert your hook in the back loop here and then the front loop on the other side which is uh, basically the chain and then make a slip stitch the one on the other side is not easy because you know it was the chain but okay so you're going to do this in every stitch until you get to the top okay so do it at your pace until you get to the top this is how it looks all right so i'm done and we're now going to work on the bottom part so we're going to chain one and we're now going to work in the ridges sorry for my lighting and my position i didn't have my equipment once again so we are going into the ridges so on top of the ridge you make a single crochet and in between the ridges at the bottom there make another single crochet go on top of the ridge right there make a single crochet and at the bottom 
also in between make a single crochet on top of the ridge and at the bottom of the ridges so we are putting single crochets in every ridge the top one and the bottom one just look at what I'm doing for so this is at the bottom and on top so it's on top and the bottom on top and the bottom so you are going to do that until you get to the end just like this So make this row of single crochets and I will meet you once you're where you started from and then we'll start on the alpine stitch. All right, so I'm done and uh, yeah. You are going to close this off with a slip stitch okay so you're going to chain three and this row is going to be a row of double crochets sorry chain two not three chain two and in that very first stitch you're going to insert a double crochet okay going to the next stitch insert your next double crochet and into the next insert a double crochet so this is a double crochet on top of every single crochet that you made in your previous row okay so you're going to do that and I'll meet you once you're done with this row just to show you how to close it off and how we go about the next row okay so i'm done with my row of uh, double crochets and we are going to close this off with a slip stitch on top of the chain two okay so where we had our chain two on top of that chain two close that with a slip stitch so chain one you're going to turn your work now okay and in this very first stitch you see this very first stitch here that's where you're going to insert a single crochet so this row is a row of single crochets so going to the next stitch make a single crochet into the next stitch another single crochet and you are going to work single crochets in every stitch for this row until you get to the end of this row okay it's a row of single crochets i'll see you once you are back here okay all right so done with that row and we are going to close this off by slip stitching on top of that very first single crochet then you're going to chain two and then turn your work now you're going to a row of double crochets but this is going to be different so you're going to yarn over leave that chain two that you we did in the previous row right so skip that very first stitch okay so go you see that double crochet leave this chain two now the first double crochet after that chain two that's where we're going to be working so under that double crochet insert your hook and you're going to make a front post like that okay so your next stitch is going to be in the row where we have the single crochets okay so where you have your next stitch but in the row where there is a single crochet make a double crochet like that okay so you skip that you know you have that skip stitch there so your next stitch is going to be a front post so go into the row where we have our double crochets and make a front post and your next stitch is going to be into the row where we have our single crochets okay right on top of that single crochet and make a normal double crochet okay so your next stitch is going to be a front post so go into the row of double crochets and make a front post 
your next is going to be a normal double crochet which is made on top of the single crochet so you are going to repeat this pattern in case um, too fast for you you just uh, search for an alpine how to do an alpine stitch on YouTube and you'll be able to learn fast from you know some of the tutorials that are a bit slow for this stitch okay so it is a front post and then followed by a normal double crochet front post followed by a normal double crochet and this is worked uh, in the previous row or previous row of uh, double crochets as well as the single crochet row do that until you are back to the beginning of this row and I will come show you what to do next okay so we are at the end of the row and you're now going to close this off with a slip stitch on top of that chain two. okay so do make sure you're not adding any stitches or subtracting any stitches it's supposed to be the same number of stitches okay so you're going to chain one and the next row is a row of uh, single crochet so chain one turn your work and in that very first stitch right there you are going to insert a single crochet so for the row of single crochets you're inserting a single crochet in that very very first stitch okay so mind how you're starting and ending your rows so that you don't have any uh, so that you keep your you know your line straight and your number of stitches are the same so you're going to do this row of single crochets all around and once you get to the start I'll meet you there all right so we are at the end and you are going to close this off with a slip stitch so make sure that your last um, stitch whether it was a double crochet or a front post you have a single crochet on top of it so you're going to chain two turn your work and we are going to do a row of double crochets so this is going to be an alternation so where we had um, mm -hmm. our first row was a row of a front post right this was a front post so on top of it we are now going to make a double crochet just like that so our next stitch was a normal double crochet so into that we are going to make a front post so you're going to go under it like that and make a front post and the next stitch is going to be a normal double crochet because it is on top of the previous front post we are doing an exchange so where there was a front post it's a single crochet a double crochet and where was a, where there was a double crochet you are going to make a front post next is a double crochet because it's on top of the front post and then our next stitch is going to be a front post okay next is a double crochet on top of the previous front post and the next is a front post so you are doing it's um, an alternation where you had a front post you now do a double crochet and where you had a double crochet you now do a front post and basically this is going to be a repeat okay you are going to repeat this and i repeat um, these two rows it's a row of double crochets and a row of single crochets alternate make sure you're not adding any stitches because where you had a front post uh, put a double crochet and where I had a double crochet put a front post and yeah I'll meet you once you are done so you're going to do this repeat those two rows until you have 10 and a half inches that's from up on the waistband to the bottom 10 and a half inches and then i'll come show you our next step all right so this is what i have so far and uh, i have 10 and a half inches so if you're doing a bigger size 
add an inch to every uh, size so for medium do 11 and a half and for a big size do 12 and a half inches okay and then we'll start to reduce so i want our seam to be on the side so we're going to divide this cut just into two so one side has our seam where we're beginning and ending our rows and i'll just put a stitch marker on this other side Okay, so put a stitch marker so that you know uh, where we'll be doing our reductions because we are doing our, redu our reductions in the sides, okay? So one side here and on the other side and it will go, you know, yeah, so put stitch markers. And we are now going to our row of decrease. Okay, so we already have chain two. So my first stitch is going to be a double crochet since I previously had a front post. So I make my double crochet and for the next of the stitches we are going to make a decrease. Okay, so we're going to join these together. So I'll insert my front post but then do not finish it. Okay, leave two loops on the hook. Yarn over. Now my next stitch is going to be a double crochet. Make your double crochet, but do not finish it. Now you have three loops on the hook, then go through all the three loops to, you know, now we made our decrease. That's our first decrease. So we're going to make our second decrease. We will do the same. So it's a front post. You have two loops on the hook here. Now um, make a double crochet in the next stitch. And then you have three loops and go through all the three loops so if it could be either way anyway it could be maybe now we are not going to reduce our next stitches are going to be just as we were doing before make a stitch in every stitch um, yeah we are done with the reduction we only do two reductions and I did this at the beginning of the row this is on one side and I will meet you on the side and make another on the other side where we have our stitch marker and make our second reduction on the other hip side. OK, so don't mind in case you had your stitches, you know, double crochet first. It doesn't matter. OK, so now I'm where there's my stitch marker. So I'll put. A, I'm going to just leave this here just to. You may want to leave yours, yours on so that you can know how many rows you do of decrease. So this is my uh, front post. Now I'm going to make a decrease, okay? So don't finish that uh, stitch. Then go into the next stitch and make a double crochet. Do not finish the double crochet, then go through all the three. So make your second decrease like we did with the first one and yeah we have our two decreases on this other side hip side so okay so now you continue with your normal stitches so this is a front post and then a double po a, a double crochet and you're going to do this until you get to the end of uh, the row so like I was saying, don't mind in case maybe mine was uh, front post first when I was doing a decrease, but in case yours was a double crochet, that is okay. So I'll meet you at the end of the row. So yeah, I'm at the end and this is how it looks. We did our first row of decrease. So now we're going to chain one, turn our work and then do a row of single crochets. Okay. So insert a single crochet in that very first stitch. A single crochet in your next stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to make uh, one single crochet in every stitch for this row. So we're not making any decreases on that single crochet stitches. Just one single crochet in every stitch. Okay, I'll meet you once you're done so that I can show you our next row of decrease. 
So once you get the side, just insert one single crochet and it will be okay. So our next row is going to be a row of no decrease. So chain three, turn your work and where my last stitch was a double crochet. So now I make a front post. And my next stitch is going to be a double crochet. This is where I had made my decrease. All right, so on top of that um, front post, I make a double crochet. So now my next stitch is going to be a front post. So I'll go into the next pair of decrease and make a front post. You see, this was our first pair. Now I go into the second pair and where I had a double crochet and make a front post. You see what I did there? Please uh, kindly pay attention of what I to what I did right there. So my next stitch is going to be a double crochet, and from now on it's one stitch in every uh, stitch. Okay. So we're going to continue with the pattern until you get to where we had our next decrease. Okay. And then I'll show you one more time how I did that when you get to the other hip side. Okay, so I'm on the other hip side and uh, this is where I had my, dec my first decrease on the other side. So my next stitch is going to be a double crochet because my, you see, now my next is a double crochet because the previous one was a front post. And then my next one is a front post. So going to the second pair of, of decrease and make a front post. And then my next one is a double crochet and now the pattern goes back to how it was one stitch in every stitch alternating between front posts and back posts okay so if that wasn't so clear you can just rewind and see how i did on top of that decrease All right, so I'll see you at the end of this uh, row. All right, so I went ahead and uh, finished. Now I chain one, turn my work, and we are going to work a row of single crochets. So it's a row of single crochets once again. It's one single crochet in every stitch make a single crochet in every stitch and I'll see you at the end of this row okay see at the end of this row of single crochets yes so I'm done so we're going to chain three I mean chain two turn your work we're working another row of double crochets and for this row row we are going to make a decrease okay we are going to make a decrease so it's a row of decrease row of no decrease then row of decrease now that i mean for the double crochet rows for the single crochet rows we are not decreasing at all for my previous row of decrease we decreased at the beginning of the row but now we'll be decreasing at the end of the row so we are just going to be kind of alternating at the beginning of the row, the next row of decrease will be at the end of the row. Next row of decrease at the beginning of the row. Next row of decrease at the end of the row. Okay. So now you are going to put a double crochet because my previous stitch was a front post. Then my next stitch is going to be a front post because I had a double crochet on my previous row. So you are going to repeat this. And... Um, for this row since we are big, decreasing at the end of the row for the other hip side we will be decreasing before our stitch marker if you had paid attention in the previous row when we made a decrease i decreased right after the stitch marker so now for this row i'll make my decrease right before the stitch marker this is just you know to even it out so that they are not the decreases are just not in a straight line it's just around the hip so i'll meet you once you where your stitch marker is before your stitch marker all right so i have uh, five stitches before my stitch marker and now i want to make my decrease okay so i'll make a 
front post but not complete then go into the next stitch and make a double crochet pull through two and then a half list loops and then pull through all the three loops then make my second decrease make a front post halfway make a double crochet and join them together like that so my next stitch is going to be a front post yeah and we made a decrease on that side right before our stitch marker so i uh, will go ahead with the same pattern until i get to five stitches before the end of the row and then i'll make my next decrease okay so the pattern is a row of decrease then single crochet row a row of no decrease single crochet row then a row of decrease again okay so in between we have a row of double crochets that is we are not decreasing okay so i'll meet you once i have five stitches to go all right so i have five stitches left okay so now i'm going to make my last decrease in these two stitches so my next stitch was a double crochet so i will not finish that my next stitch is a front post pull through two and then pull through all the three three loops then make my next decrease double crochet halfway front post halfway pull through only two then pull through all the three loops then my next stitch is going to be just a normal double crochet then i will close this off with a slip stitch on top of the chain two okay so chain one turn your work and we are going to work a row of double crochet uh, single crochets sorry single crochets it is one single crochet in every stitch for this row okay one single crochet in every stitch for this row once I'm done with a single crochet row, I will repeat the pattern. So my next row will be a row of double crochets but with no decrease. Then once I'm done with that, my next double crochet row will be with a decrease. Repeat the pattern until you have a total number of uh, 6 inches. I'll do until I have a total number of 6 inches of decrease. Alright, so... From where I had put my stitch marker, that's where I started to decrease up to where I am now, it is six inches of decrease, okay? Six inches of decrease. If you're doing a bigger size, you might add an inch to this length, okay? So from now on, no more decrease, just do all around until you get your length. And I already did mine, and it is 28 inches long from top to bottom, Cut your yarn, sew in the ends. If you want it longer, make it longer. If you want it short above the knees, that is up to you. Yeah, so once you're done, it should look something like this, okay? So yeah, I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share to your Facebook groups, WhatsApp groups. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next uh, video. Don't forget to check out more of the designs on this stitch.